Good morning, class. You'll recall at the beginning of the semester, we discussed different areas of learning or majors in business. Of course, one major of area was called finance. This is the unit that we spent the last three weeks on. We talked a little bit about personal finance, stocks, bonds, and how we can prepare ourselves financially for the future. Today, we will start to discuss a different major area called financial management. Another name for this is called accounting. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that at any time that you're running into problems or you don't understand something, please pause the screencast, go back and take a look at some of the information that I've given you. Let's get started. Many times a bank wants to know how much a business is worth. If you go to a, a bank and ask for a loan, they're going to want to ask some questions to make sure that you're able to pay back the loan. They'll ask you things like, what, do you, what does your business own? Uh, what does your business owe money on? And then from that, they'll create a formula and come up with an actual amount that lets you know how much your business is worth. This is what a balance sheet does. You will see from here that we have four main sections of a balance sheet. We have a heading, an asset section, a liability section, and a capital section. Now these words don't probably mean a lot to you right now, but as we go through this screencast, they'll start to make a lot more sense. So in the heading, the heading is always uses three words uh, to describe what we are making. It's always the who, the what, and the when. In this case, who is it? It's for Joe's garage. Notice it's not for Joe himself because we're doing it for his garage. The second, the what, is the balance sheet. That's what we're making. And finally, the date on which we made the balance sheet. During the screencast, you'll be given plenty of opportunities to test your knowledge. If you look in your D2L shell, you will notice that you have a place there called Practice Spreadsheets. These spreadsheets are designed so that you can follow along with this screencast and be able to answer the questions. While looking at the questions, read them, Make sure you understand the question and then pause the screencast until you are ready to move on. When you're ready to move on, you will then continue with the screencast and the answers will be provided. So Terry asked you to set up her heading for her balance sheet. This is what you should have gotten. First of all, we have the who. The name of her company is called Hair by Terry. We have the what. It's called the balance sheet, and the date that we did it would be April 25th. Now, of course, this date will change depending on the day that you've actually done this screencast. So now we move on to our next section. We already know the heading section, so now we're going to talk about the asset section. Assets are a word that we use in accounting or financial management that means what we own. So if you look in here, this business, Joe's Garage's business, owns cash, has some electronics, has some office furniture, a truck, some equipment, and a building. All of these things the business owns. Notice none of these are his personal items. The next section is called the liability section. Liabilities mean the things that we owe. So for instance, in this case, Joe's Garage owes for a truck loan, which he had bought the truck, he owns the truck, but he still owes money on it. And he owes for the mortgage on the building. He owns the building, but he owes some money on it still. And the final section we have on the balance sheet is the capital section. This is the whole reason that we actually do a balance sheet. The word capital means worth. So in this balance sheet for Joe's Garage, we're finding out how much this business is worth. And this is what this line refers to. Jay Ferrari, that's the owner of the company, the capital he has in the business comes to $161,500. We will learn more about how these numbers came about in the next section. So let's see what we have learned so far. Remember to pause the screencast, read the question, and do not continue until you feel that you are ready and have the right answers. All right, here are the answers to the questions. Notice in the asset section, again, that is the things that the business owns. They own hair dryers, cash, a building, some office furniture, a stereo system, and a computer. 
The liabilities is what the business owes. They owe a loan for the building and a loan for the computer. And finally, they have a sec the section of capital is her net worth. That's how much Terry's company is worth. Many of you would have noticed there are a couple of accounts that are missing from my list. The reason for this is they are personal accounts and not business accounts. Now that we're aware of the four main parts of a balance sheet, the heading, the asset section, the liability section, and the capital section, let's go ahead and complete the, ba the balance sheet. All right, so under the assets section, we're going to list all of our assets. Remember, that's the things we own and put the numerical value um, associated with each one. These will be given to you either in the textbook or through research on finding out how much each of these things would actually cost. We also do the same with liabilities. We list our liabilities and we list their amounts. And we find out from our, or on our capital section, we put the person's name who owns the company because that's our whole goal is to find out what this business is actually worth. So our first step is we go here and we make and we total up our assets. And from previous knowledge of spreadsheet that we've learned, we know that whenever we add a series of numbers, we must use a, a thick bottom border to add these. Now, because we're adding our assets, again, from our previous knowledge, we're just going to sum these up. And that total will come to $356,500. This is the amount that Joe's Guitar Shop owns in assets. We then do the same with our liabilities. So let's total up our liabilities. And make our, our addition line to show that we're adding. And again, we will sum up the numbers. Well, now that we know how many assets we have of 356,500 and the total number of liabilities we have of 195,000, we can now calculate what Jay Rolling Stone is worth, the owner of this business. The way we do that is make a formula and we set up our formula and we're going to say our assets subtract our liabilities. Okay, and that gives us $161,500. So, so far from these questions, we would know what type of assets and what our total assets are, what type of liabilities and our total liabilities, and we know how much this business is actually worth. It's worth $161,000. We call this um, form, this financial statement, a balance sheet because the two final totals have to balance. And as right now, you see that 356500 does not really balance 161500 They also have to end on the entire bottom line. Uh, they have to equal on the bottom line. So because we have this section already totaled up, we actually have to add up this entire side. So we're going to call this side total liabilities and capital. And we now will add these up. So we're going to go to our equal sign. We're going to say our total liabilities, which is our total liabilities, and capital means to add capital. So we're going to add our capital and we're going to hit a formula. Now because we've added these numbers, we should also show addition by using our thick bottom border. So now if you notice the very last line, which shows a balance that it's in balance, will be on the same line and they were also both equal. To prove that this is correct and to show the bank that we have researched our numbers and ch double checked them, we do a double underline at the bottom of our answers. Only at the very bottom of the final, final totals of each of the columns. So this is how we do a balance sheet and it shows our assets, liabilities, capital, and it tells us exactly what the business is worth. Well, it's now time to see what you've learned and to try to make a balance sheet on your own. Use the following information, remembering the things that we went over during the screencast. Please pause 
the screencast so that you can complete the assignment and do not start it again until you're ready to check your answers. This is the final balance sheet by Hair by Terry. Notice on the sheet that Terry's net worth on April 25, 2015 is $185,000. If you did not get this answer, go back over our instructions and try it again. So in review, this is what a balance sheet should look like. It should have a heading, an asset section, a liability section, and a capital section. We should know who the owner of the business is, and we should know how much the business is worth. In this case, $161,500. We would also note that the asset side and the liabilities and capital side will end on the exact same line and should have the exact same number. Other things to remember when creating a balance sheet is that there should be four formulas. One formula for total assets, one formula for total liabilities, one formula to figure out your capital, and finally, a formula to add the equity side of your balance sheet. When looking at our final example, we will see that assets will equal our liabilities plus our owner's equity, which is just another name for capital. They are in balance by being in a straight line, and the final amounts are equal. Well, this concludes the screencast on balance sheets and how they are created. I hope this information has helped, and I look forward to talking to you again.